Hi Excellers, welcome to another how to excel at excel.com video tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to keep your cell width static in Excel pivot tables. This is one question I get asked quite a lot by email and on the website how to excel at excel.com. It is when you create a pivot table that you're happy with and you've formatted just how you want it, when you add new data to it or you refresh it, the column widths automatically expand and you don't want them to. So let's look at how to prevent this happening. First of all, let's create a simple pivot. Hit Control A to select our data and set pivot table. Uh, let's put it on the existing worksheet. And let's put date, product ref, and let's run the quote. Okay, so, so this cell width is accommodating the column label. I don't want it to. Let's just change that. But when I hit refresh, it goes back again. You can imagine if you've spent a lot of time on your pivot table getting it to look just right. You, you add new data in and your cell widths change. There is a really quick way to stop this happening. If you right click and go to pivot table options, there's a small area down right at the bottom in layout and format that says auto fit column widths on update. So by ticking it, it is set to auto fit the column widths. So let's untick it and hit OK. Let's go ahead and refresh and nothing happens. Just do it again. And let's just change one of those. Take off the setting. There we go. It's come back again. So it's really easy to get static pivot table column widths if you just go into pivot table options, layout and format, and untick auto fit column widths on update. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time for another how to excel at excel.com video tutorial.